Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths key skill video on angles on a line. Now in the previous video we explored the angles around a point and do you remember that if you considered the full spin around a particular point you would have spun, you would have rotated 360 degrees. So if my pen was here and it span a full spin to get back to where it started the total turn, which is what an angle is, the total turn is 360 degrees. Now, if we were to just have a line here, and we had this point here, and we were to consider what is this angle here? Well, if my pen was here, so I put the bottom of my pen on here, where we're turning about, and my pen span like this, can you see it's only done half a spin? That would be a full spin, but this is just half a spin. So therefore, that angle there must be half of 360 degrees, which is 180 degrees. So therefore, the angles about a point on a straight line sum to 180 degrees. So let's use that for this first problem here. So we can see this is the point we're considering the angles about. So always identify first what point you're considering the angles around. And we can see on this straight line here, if that's a straight line, that is half a spin of my pen. So those angles must add up to 180 degrees. So x and the 20 add up to 180. And therefore to find x, we could just subtract 20 degrees from 180 to see what's left in the rest of this line. So x is equal to 180 degrees minus 20 degrees is equal to 160 degrees. Let's just check that's right. If this was equal to 160, well 160 plus the 20 does indeed add up to 180 degrees. What about B? Well this is your straight line here and this here is the point we're considering the spin about, the angle around. So we can see again, look that's half a spin of my pen, so that total angle here is 180 degrees. Well this is 35 here, that symbol there is the right angle symbol which means 90 degrees, so 35 plus the 90 plus the y add up to 180 degrees. Well let's add up these two so far, 35 plus 90 is equal to 125 and then if that's 125 so far we need to see what's left to get us up to 180. Now to find what's left we subtract don't we? So we're going to subtract the 125 from 180. 180 minus 125 is equal to 55 degrees and that is the answer so y is 55 degrees.